It's Ginger from my sister Scrapper.com. Um, I just wanted to share with you my Steambunk, Steampunk Debutante mini album, and I just finished it. Um, I'm really excited. I think it turned out pretty cute. This paper is amazing. Um, so here's the album. It's just got a little um, half cover for the front, a little chipboard piece that I really liked, so I just kind of chopped it in half and um, just used part of it for the front. Um, so on the binding, I used my um, bind it all to do the binding, and I have a Tim Holtz swivel clasp on here, and um, one of his fragments that I made a little charm out of one of the little um, uh, cutouts from the paper, the little gal with the little gears in her hair. Um, and then I got some ribbons and fibers um, and some tool, of course. Got to have a little tool on there. So this is the cover. Um, here's one of the little tags from the paper. These are some Tim Holtz gears. Um, I cut the uh, dress form out on my Cricut using the French Manor cartridge. And then this is just a little label off the bottom strip of the paper that says Steampunk Debutante. Um, I cut these um, wings out on my Cricut using the Pink Journey cartridge. And these little wings here are Tim uh, Tim Holtz grunge pieces that I used alcohol ink on. It was my first time using alcohol ink and that was kind of fun. So it opens up and this is the inside little half cover. Um, again, here's another one of the tags from the paper line. Another tag from the paper line and then some more Tim Holtz uh, grunge pieces. There's a crown and a heart that I used alcohol ink and distress inks on. And then on these, this page, all the pages are these um, long envelopes that I have Velcro closures on. And um, these actually are envelopes that I made. And I got this idea from a tutorial that Drew from um, ScrappyHappiness.com did a fabulous YouTube tutorial. He is just so amazingly young talented guy he's fabulous so he did a great um tutorial on that so um his youtube name is card of my eye but his uh blog is scrappyhappiness.com so check him out he's amazing so thank you drew for that fabulous tutorial so um i've got again some more of the uh wings that i cut out on my cricut another tim holtz grunge piece and then these are just some brads and it has s p for steampunk i thought that was kind of cute some more gears, another Tim Holtz grunge piece, some flat back pearls, um, some more die cuts that I cut. This is a Recollections flower, and um, this is some butterflies off the paper. I cut them out, and then I layered one on top of the other and put some glossy accents on the top one and kind of curled his wings up so it looks nice and light. And then the pockets again open, and um, inside the pockets, are just some plain um, tags for photos and journaling. And then I put a little pocket here with the little tag. This paper is just amazing, 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 amazing. This is, all the paper is from the Steampunk Debutante collection from Graphic 45, with the exception of this paper here and this blue striped here. This was actually a leftover piece that I had from the Steampunk, um, from uh, Graphic 45's Once Upon a Springtime. So I thought it kind of coordinated. All of their stuff is fabulous it all goes together this page there's that fabulous girl with coming out the little um engine and the smoke coming out this girl this stunning hairdo here a little clock that I cut from the um no actually this is a sticker off the graphic 45 staples sticker sheet some more wings that I cut on my Cricut some um fabulous trim that I got from my adorable niece Jackie she sent it to me as a from in Iraq so thank you Jackie love the trim this page has a little pocket on the front. Um, again, I cut this big ticket out on my um, postage stamp, I mean, on my Cricut. And here's a little tag inside. And this is actually, the pocket for this is one of those little tiny paper sacks from um, Hobby Lobby or, no, I got these at Michael's. And then another little um, newspaper ad that I printed out from the paper and popped it up. And this is just from the sticker sheet. Um, some more little gears from Tim Holtz, 
and then again the pocket opens up and this um, is just a plain photo mat, photo mat and journaling and I did some stamping on here and I don't know if you can see that but um, it's with the Tim Holtz stamp. I left the photo mats really plain because everything else is kind of busy. Not a lot of room for photos on the envelope pages. So here's some of this um, rose ribbon trim, um, which I love. It's from American Crafts. I made a tag that I glimmer misted with Caribbean blue and I think olive and um, pearl, I think. And this is a, a chipboard piece that I got from my niece when she, she sent in my rack. Thanks again, Jackie. I cut these other swirls out on my Cricut. Um, this little piece here is a... Um, from Tattered Angels Traveler Collection. Um, this is some little tiny type. It says Beauty from Cosmo Cricut. And this is a pocket here on this page. I really thought this photo, this picture of this girl was just gorgeous. <clears throat> and some more little wings that I cut out. And then on this page, um, again, here's those fabulous girls. It says Steampunk Debutante um, with the gears in their hair. And then um, I cut this tag piece off of the... Um, paper and then I added the Tim Holtz gears and a game piece spinner right here um, and this is a sticker from the sticker collection and I just mounted it on a piece of uh, cardstock and then I popped it up on some foam tape. I stuck on the inside of this um, a piece that I cut out of my Cricut Escalope oval and I just kind of chopped it in half and made it fit in there. And then I did some more stamping. This is a Hero Art stamp on this back here and photo mat. And on this page I have some really fun lace that I got at Joann's. I thought it was really pretty, this chocolate brown. This is little gal here is a sticker off the sticker sheet from the Graphic 45 Staples sticker sheet. Um, I love these corsets. I made a little pocket out of this and made a little tag, the corset in there. And a little dress form photo, uh, ad from the newspaper sheet. And then I made a pocket here because I loved this picture of this girl here. I mean, how stunning is she? <laughs> Look at that waist. Wow. And I put some um, trim in the back. Mounted it on cardstock. And on this page, um, this is another sticker, the butterfly from the... Uh, graphic 45 staple, Staples sticker sheet and I put some glossy accents on it. This is a Recollections flower that I put some um, glimmer mist and um, glossy accents and I kind of smushed it down a little bit and made it a little flatter. This hot air balloon is from Tattered Angels, um, the Traveler collection. Um, I cut this out of the paper collection um, off the newspaper print side, raised it up on some foam tape and added one of these little clocks from Tim Holtz with a game spinner piece. Um, and another chipboard piece that I put um, some glossy accents on top because the glitter was kind of getting all over me, so um, it gives some more shine anyway. And then on this, this is um, some grunge board, circle shaped grunge board that I took one and laid on top of the other and I used my alcohol inks. Um, I think it was latte and caramel and ginger were the three colors that I used and um, to color them in. And then this was a brad that I had that was a really bright silver and so I used the alcohol ink to darken it up a little bit. And a scalloped oval that I cut from my Cricut and this um, glimmery shiny cardstock is from Die Cuts with a View. And again, pocket opens, and I put little Velcro closures on all of them. And inside is the corset page. And this is a little, I put a little piece of trim on there with a um, garment pin and a little star charm, the garment pin. And then on this page, here's that same um, dress form that I cut out, and this is a little metal rose. I glimmer misted these uh, wings that I cut from my Cricut with um, Black Magic Glimmer Mist. And I put some on here as well. 
and then I raised it up on foam tape. This is a little strip of paper from the paper collection, the butterflies. Um, I took this ad and I cut it out and then I glimmer misted it and um, kind of grunged it up a little bit. And then I attached it with some eyelets, the four corners, to make a little pocket to hold some of the tags. There's this one. And this one, this is Steampunk Debutante. Love this paper. Love, love, love it. And then this is just some grow grain ribbon that I kind of scrunched up and glued along the edge. And then I made another pocket here because this is another one of those tags. It's this fabulous girl. Check her out. Love it. So she just fits right back in there. And then on the last page, um, I made a little kind of a tag. I kind of didn't know what to do with it. I, I really liked this little cutout of this guy. He's like flying through the air and someone's holding him up and he's got like a postage stamp on him. And So he was pretty cute. So I added him to a scallop circle that I cut and then I made it like a little swivel. So it swivels like here. So you could put um, a small photo or some journaling or something in there. And then I also made it a pocket to put some of these little tickets. These are from the Staples, Graphic 45 Staples sticker sheet. I put them back to back. And then this is just one of the ads from the newspaper print from the paper collection. And same with this one. And some more of the butterflies that I cut from the paper. And I just cut a strip of it and put it here. This is a key from the sticker collection along with this little strip, sticker strip here. And then this lock and key is from the sticker sheet. And I just kind of stuck that on there. And I added some um, gold satin ribbon. And this opens. And I put a piece of the paper kind of to cover up my edges there on the inside. And then this is just a plain photo mat. Um, I cut one of the butterflies out from the paper and adhered it to the back. And I did some more stamping with some Tim Holtz stamps. So that's it, guys. And here's the back page. Um, I didn't really put it like a back on it because I just... I didn't want to do the same as I did on the front, so I left it, the back just decorated as a decorated page. I made a little small pocket here with a couple little tags from the collection. Put some tulle and some brown lace. Love her. Love this tag. I put some little bling here and some of the Tim Holtz gears, and I added some flat back pearls and some lace um, for the back of it, and then put a couple of the little punch outs from the paper collection on each end and I cut this little um, label out on my Cricut. So there you have it. That's my steampunk debutante mini album. I love it. I think it turned out really cute. If you have not done anything with this paper, I just encourage you to try it because it is fabulous paper. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Bye.